Hi everyone, it's Natalie here. Yes, I realize it has been a hot minute. My excuse for that? Mm, life. <laughs> life has been a bit hectic, but I can promise you that I am working on part two of Mystery of the Mask Killer, making some progress, working on sets, voicing lines, you know, all that jazz. If you do want to keep updated with my progress on these kind of videos, then I recommend following my Instagram page because I'm pretty active on there when it comes to like showing behind the scenes. But it's okay if you don't want to, or if you don't have Instagram, just, just a suggestion. So you may be wondering, Natalie, why have you stopped by here to make a video for us? Well, that is because... I had a friend of mine send over some of her handmade LPS clothing. Um, she's pretty new in terms of starting a business for making LPS clothes and from what she has been showing so far has been looking absolutely adorable and pretty well made as well. Her main account is known as Opia LPS but her little business page is called Fashionable LPS on Instagram and she has her own um, eBay websites. The main things that she's making at the moment are like skirts, bows, necklaces and scarves. And from what I know, she is hoping to open up her range of clothing, possibly to some shirts. And um, I don't know about you, but I am obsessed with the new style of making LPS shirts, t-shirts, jumpers, jackets. <laughs> it's, it's a skill that I wish I could attain and maybe had the time to practice. <laughs> but she was very kind enough to send me some of her items to check out and I am super excited to open them up because I had received the package. <gasps> oh, it's been a while since I made one of these opening videos. So I've just got a little parcel here next to me and I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So without further ado, let's get started. So inside the parcel, you can see we've got a few drawstring bags of the items that we've got. So I'll just go ahead and take these out. But first quickly, some bubble wrap popping ASMR. Mmm, delightful. So what we've got here, we've got six items of different um, necklaces, skirts, and some scarves as well. So far from what I can see, they look really cute and I can't wait to get into these and try them on my Lilith's Pet Shop. So I'll just start with this bag because I've been the most keen on this one actually, as simple as it is. But So what I've got here is there is a scarf that has some Velcro on it. As you can see, it's been knitted, or I'd have a feeling, I'd imagine it's been knitted. It's very well done, and there is some black Velcro attached to it. So that way it'll be very easy to um, wrap it around an LPS's neck and keep it on there. So the reason why I was very um, excited to getting this scarf was because I hope to use it for one of outfits that um, my main character, Emiza, is going to wear in my series. So just testing it on her. I think the color really matches her well. And then if I stick that on here, it stays on very nicely. She looks very cozy. I love the color palette that I've got here. Even though it's a simple brown, I just think it really suits Emiza. The next things that I've got in here are some necklaces, mainly hoping maybe that they could work for Amaz as well, but I really liked the color of some of these necklaces. This one seems to have some like reflective look on it, on this green necklace. That's quite beautiful, I have to say. And then this one's just a simple pink necklace. I think this would look really nice on Amaz and some other short hairs or a Lula's pet shop that I've got. Just a soft pastel for that. Now on to the next bag. I've got some skirts here and these are looking so adorable. My goodness. We've got this lacy pink skirt. Doesn't this just look so cute? Wow. She was showing me like all these fabrics I, that she had and I was like, whoa, my goodness, that is a lot. So overwhelming, but also amazing. She's really dedicated to her, um, to her shop, which I love to see. So with having so many fabrics, I'm pretty certain that you can, on request, make a skirt of your own custom choice from one of the um, fabrics that she has. 
just ask her and she will send like lots of photos. It's really good. On to the next one here. I really like the simplicity of like that um, checkered skirt. So I've just got one here, black and white. Very simple, very nice. Well, it kind of looks like a navy blue, but regardless, it's, it's a really nice simple pattern. I'm a sucker for these. And lastly, a nice summer skirt. Check that out. It kind of like reminds me of like lemons. Like imagine like the strawberry dress, but instead you have lemons and just bits of like um, yellow daisies. It's really, really pretty. I really like this. So it looks like um, she sent me an extra outfit, which is awfully nice of her. Thank you so much. So it looks like here it's an orange themed kind of outfit. So we've got a skirt, a bow, and a necklace. A lot of the outfits that she makes um, match like each other like really nicely and they're for, for like such a good price as well. I've been looking at her page not too long ago and they're a pretty good price for for the quality and the um, and the skill towards these. So we first got a bow here. It's pretty much similar to what you would see in those like regular like LPS clothing accessories but I think this might just be her own elastic here. It's pretty sturdy. And next on, I've got this checkered, patterned orange and white skirt. It's a really soft pastel orange color. I really like this. And then it has a complimentary necklace with it, some orange and yellow. It's very nice. I quite like the yellow accents on this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab some of my Lilith's Pet Shop to try these on and just see how freaking adorable they are. <laughs> so I'll just grab one of my short hair cats. This is personally one of my favorite short hair cats that I've got along with Imiza, of course. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to give her like a simple black and white outfit and maybe a little bit of color to go nicely with it. So I'm just going to grab this skirt. So you can see it's got some elastic here. So it should be very easy to fit it on. Just got to put in the other leg. You see that? it. Um, there are many folds on this fabric, so it's not like it would be too small looking. You can just like stretch it around Just like how I'm doing it right now and it fits on really nicely. It's really cute Look at that Love that. That's so cute Isn't she looking cute already? But it's missing something. It needs a necklace, I reckon So I think the best necklace for this outfit would be the soft pastel pink one So I'll go ahead and put that on her and doesn't she look absolutely adorable? I love how like cute these are, but they aren't really like flashy. Of course, she's got some um, more like bright, colorful skirts on her page, but she has also those simple designs. If you're into more of those um, just very soft designs and looks, which I I know that's me for the case. I'm not much of a a person to collect all those like big like fluffy skirts. I prefer like the little small cute ones. Next up, I want to try putting an outfit on a different mold. So I'm thinking this fox should be good to try on. So I'm thinking maybe this orange one would look really nice, like give this like autumn vibe to it. Or maybe even this lemon skirt. But I feel like I might save the lemon skirt for someone else. So I think I will try the whole orange outfit. Really easy to put on. The elastic is pretty sturdy. It doesn't feel like it's going to break. It looks like really like full, like you know, lots of volume. Next up, I'll put this necklace on. And what's good about this necklace, it's like there's enough wire to like make it sit on her, ne her neck comfortably. And now, moment of truth, the bow. I'm always like a bit uncertain about bows because I feel like they might snap easily, but um, we're gonna find out with this one. Well, it almost like feels like really strong, like you can't pull it, but it is pretty impressive. Like. It doesn't look like it's wearing off, which is really nice. And of course, it being clear, it's not that obvious, but doesn't she look so cute? It's really giving autumn vibes. It's very, very pretty. I like it very much. The next one I'm gonna try is this, um, never sure how to pronounce it, Dachshund? Dachshun? Anyway, what I always find a bit awkward with these molds is that they have such a long body, it, like, makes it a bit awkward to have a skirt, but I want to give this a go. So I think the most fitting skirt for this dog would be this pink lacy one. I shouldn't have much problem being able to fit this on. 
And doesn't she look cute? She looks like a little ballerina. That's nice. I want to save the last two accessories as like a full outfit, but anyway, I approve of this. I think that looks really nice. And she doesn't fall over, which is really good. That's another thing I want to check with putting skirts on these kinds of molds is like whether they're gonna like fall over or not. But no, because it doesn't go all the way around, it leaves the elastic to just sit on the bottom. So yeah, it will help her sit properly without needing to fall over. It's very nice. Now lastly, I want to try putting the skirt on this crouching cat. With these ones it might seem like a challenge to put them on, but I have a good feeling that I'll be able to put something on this cat. So the last one we've got is this skirt here. I'm just going to fit it through the tail. And if I'm able to squeeze it through the feet, then we might have, we might have a chance here. Now as you can see, it kind of, um, goes around like it goes around instead of the bottom but because it's so like flexible you you should be able to just move that fabric around to the top of it so then it sits like this and she looks absolutely gorgeous I love that I think this gut suits her really nicely look at that that's pretty impressive for the fact that it's a crouching cat I think that's really cool and I think this necklace would go absolutely beautifully with this skirt. And I am right. Look at that. She looks so pretty, ready to go on a picnic or something. Wouldn't you agree? Well, that concludes the video. So, if you're interested in buying some of the outfits that Opia LPS has made, I will put all her links in the description so you can check out her shop. Again, like I said, they're like really good prices just for like a whole outfit. And as I have shown you today, the skirts just look absolutely cute. The necklace are nice, simple, dainty, and the scarves, like I said, I'm, I'm quite fond of the scarves. <laughs> Very nice textures, like I said. Overall, I am extremely satisfied with these items that I've got. Thank you so much for sending me these items, Opia LPS. I am very pleased with them and I have no doubt that I'm going to use these in my videos. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!